right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the iSpring Solutions webinar series. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us today. And um, you know that at our weekly webinar series, we are covering different topics such as e-learning trends, as well as iSpring tips and tricks and clients' cases. And today we wanted to talk about a trend that's been on for a while now. And we know that with places shutting down, remote, being remote can really become an inevitable change for us. So we really have to be prepared. And during today's webinar, we really wanted to go over um, some tools that are free as well as paid ones that you can start using today to go remote fast and easy. My name is Paulina, guys, and I will be your moderator today for this webinar. And as I mentioned previously, our topic will be how to easily go uh, remote and actually use e-learning in your uh, work life. And to cover this topic, I invited my colleague who works at the technical support department and who is actually a senior tech engineer at iSpring. And a really go-to source when it comes to choosing uh, tools and solutions and actually any questions connected with e-learning. Everyone, please meet Stefan Burley. Hi, Stefan. Thanks a lot for tuning in today. How are you doing? Hi, Polina. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm doing great. Thanks. Wonderful. And actually, we hope that you guys are doing well and especially feeling well, which I think is even more important nowadays. And before I pass the mic over to Stefan, I would like to go over a couple of technical things. So first of all, guys, this webinar, of course, is being recorded. So no worries, you will receive a link to a replay sometime after the webinar. However, I would like to encourage you to stay till the very end to get involved into communication with us and to address any questions that you might have to our today's expert. And to do so, please submit them in the chat box and you will find it on the right side of the GoToWebinar panel. And I would like to, I would like to encourage you guys to really participate in the chat and the communication. And if you have been working remotely up to this point, please share with us if there are some solutions or tools that you are using that really work great for you. And if you guys have not have had any experience with remote work, please ask your questions so that we can share our expertise and really get prepared. At this point, I think we are more than ready to begin. So Stefan, let me pass the mic over to you, as well as the presenter rights, of course. Thank you, Paulina. Hi again, everyone. Hope you're all staying safe and social distancing or uh, or you're still at work or you're staying at home, being cozy and all. What I'm going to talk about today. So uh, today I'm going to tell you about switching over to e-learning and remote work from our usual workflow. You all know that with many companies telling employees to stay at home because of the novel coronavirus, thousands have to switch over to remote work. It is therefore no wonder that the disease outbreak will hit workplace learning hard too. Uh, technology companies like Google and Microsoft report an increase in demand for their work from home tools and organizations HR and L&D departments can use learn from home apps instead of having to suspend training entirely. But even with the best tools under your belt, switching an entire organization to an online regime doesn't happen in the snap, we all know that. And the transition goes, from, uh, goes more smoothly for those companies that have already had remote employees or have trained workers online and had a chance to familiarize themselves with these practices. If your organization has little or no prior experience with learning and training from home, this webinar is for you. I will give you a list of applications and services that you can start using right now to ease the burden of having no face-to-face -face contact with your colleagues. 
a lot of these apps are completely free to use, especially for small teams, so that uh, you can all use. We also included some tools, including free ones, that you can use to deliver training online, so e-learning online. And I say it again, free solutions. So we have selected apps for the list, uh, keeping simplicity in mind as well. All these tools are straightforward and easy to use even for non-technical users. That means you don't have to spend hours to different interfaces and mastering intricate settings. Instead, you can start training your employees right now. So all the tools that we selected for you can be divided into three major categories. No? So they are video conferencing tools, uh, tools to collaborate on documents, and tools to be in sync with your team. First, I'm going to tell you about some video conferencing tools. The most obvious way to train employees online is to use web conferencing and online meeting solutions. They allow you to deliver face-to-face -face training without actually meeting anyone face-to-face. -face. As a trainer, you can provide explanations, share files, and answer questions directly or in a chat. These tools don't require much explanation as you definitely know what Skype is and you just need to scale it up a little. So Skype, uh, we all know the usual version of Skype, but Skype also has a business version and it allows up to 250 participants for a conference call. Um, but also the business version um, and uh, doesn't have all of the features and there are some programs uh, that have more features, for example, uh, convenient scheduling and personal meeting rooms, searchable screen recordings, user roles. So for that, here on the screen, on my screen, you see that uh, the icons of five solutions for you to try. Two of them are free and you probably all know them, which is Google Hangouts and Skype. And there are three tools that are subscription based. They are Zoom, Go to meeting and barebacks. They're definitely worth trying, so check them out. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, cloud storage and file sharing services. These tools not only allow you to transfer files from on premise hardware online, but also to collaborate on learning projects and sync and share files with peers and learners. Here's how it works. You just drop a file to a shared folder, just as you would normally do with files on your computer, and it becomes available to your colleagues online. That way, you can send them instructions, manuals, policies, and other files, or share video tutorials even. So our top picks here are Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Apple iCloud, and Dropbox. All of them have five gigabytes of free space each. If you guys need more, there are subscriptions that you can use. Some tools to be in sync with your team. What are these tools? These tools help you and your team to stay connected and keep everyone in the loop. Many solutions here are team chats boosted with extra capabilities like file sharing, reminders, video messaging, and simple project management options. You can use them to sync with your colleagues and stakeholders and get the work done. Apps like Slack have been used by dispersed teams around the globe for years now, and your now remote team can rely on these solutions too. Slack is completely free for small teams and has subscriptions for bigger teams and businesses. So it's definitely worth checking out. Slack, Slack is its name. It's really good. Let's talk a little bit about course authoring. So while almost all of the apps I talked about are well known to some degree, all of us used Google Docs and did Zoom meetings or Skype meetings. The world of e-learning requires a little bit more time to figure out. The dApps that I talked about are available on demand for almost everyone in your company, but these apps for course, course authoring, they're specific for L&D and training departments. 
So in the second part of this webinar, I'll give you insights into transferring your offline learning into the online format, as well as giving you a couple of tools that you can start with, both free and subscription-based. These tools allow you to create full-fledged e-learning courses, which are interactive, support various user scenarios, have quizzes, media, and more. So first, I'm going to tell you about iSprint Free. So it is a fully free version of our authoring tool. Uh, you can easily turn your existing PowerPoint presentations into scores in no time at, at no cost. I say it once again, it is free. To make your e-learning fancier, you can also include quizzes and these quizzes are trackable too. So this is the perfect solution for here and now, iSprint Free. So it is an add-in for PowerPoint. So you take your PowerPoint presentations, if you have them, or you just create new ones. And with this tool, you can convert them to SCORM HTML5 files even now. It's not a trial, it's completely free. I say it once again. But when you're ready to dive deep into e-learning and spend more time on creating more sophisticated courses, take a look at iSprints, full solution, which is iSprint Suite. Based on the customer's feedback, it is a solution that is extremely easy to use for creating e-learning rapidly. So just like the free version, it is based in PowerPoint. So if you know how to use PowerPoints, then you already know how to use iSprint. It's really easy. With iSprint, you can repurpose existing content and convert PowerPoint presentations to mobile-ready HTML5 format and then enhance these PowerPoint presentations with quizzes, interactions, screencasts, and more. And again, convert them to SCORM files that you can upload to your learning management system if you already have one, or just to your website. So in the same way, just by using PowerPoint, you can create e-learning content that you need urgently. For example, well, you can develop a course on how to deal with the current circumstances or how to protect yourself from disease or how to use those new work from home apps efficiently. It's really easy, PowerPoint. Now, let's talk about LMS. You know how to create e-learning content now, but what do we do with it next? How do we, do, how do we deliver it to the end user? This is when the magical LMS abbreviation immediately comes to mind. What is LMS? It is a learning management system. You are correct to consider that an LMS can help you to deliver training online, no matter where your employees are. But don't reach for it right away. LMSs often require a considerable investment of time, money, resources before you can assign the first group learners to a course. An LMS will provide you with a return of your investment in the long run, but you should select wisely when you need to launch learning from home today or better yet, yesterday. So, LMS is a complete platform for training your learners online, fully online. It's not just a hosting service for your courses, but it also manages users, tracks their progress, assigns learners to courses, and as many other things. Gravitate to LMSs that support web meetings. This way you can deliver courses and face-to-face -face sessions within a single app. So that's very important. For starters, uh, you can look into free solutions. Uh, for example, Moodle. Uh, it has the most basic features uh, that need and that you need, and they will do the job when you are forced to do e-learning immediately. But keep in mind that you will still have to invest into server space to install and run it, since it is only an on-premise solution. But if you look at the LMS market of today, it is booming with all kinds of solutions to fit exactly your needs. Some of these learning management systems are good for compliance training. Some are designed for the pharmaceutical industry. Some were created with annual certification trainings in mind. But there are also solutions that can do all sorts of stuff. And one of them that I suggest that you have a look at is iSpring Learn LMS. 
it is not clo it is not only closely integrated with our authoring tool iSprint Suite and iSprint Free that I talked about before. It is also integrated with other services. Uh, for example, Zoom that I also mentioned today. With its help, you can schedule and deliver a BAP meeting right from iSprint. By the way, uh, Zoom is currently offering free plans in response to the pandemic and the trend towards social distancing. So keep that in mind. When you subscribe to iSprint Learn, you also get a free subscription for iSprint Suite where you create courses. So the authoring tool, such a steal, right? There has never been a better deal. So you just need iSprint Learn and it includes iSprint Suite where you create courses and Zoom has free plans right now. So just do it. Um, we all know that moving from in-person workplace training to e-learning involves research, planning and collaboration. And I really hope that this webinar saved you the first step, research. So yeah, now it's time to try these tools out. Paulina? All right, thanks a lot, Stefan, for covering a list of tools that can be used right now in order to put together the remote workflow as well as um, distance training. All right, and while Stefan, you were covering this topic, we had a discussion here in the chat. So thank you very much, guys, to all of you for contributing um, your ideas. And um, actually, Mohammed has a question, and hopefully you, Stefan, can give us a little hint or maybe mm -hmm. a complete answer to it. So sure. he's saying, mm -hmm, iSpring Learn is being used for learn from home but can it be used for work from home as well? And if yes, could you please clarify or maybe share your ideas? Sure thing, yes. Um, so as I mentioned, iSpring Learn can be integrated with Zoom, for example. So the webinars from Zoom. And if you have your colleagues who also um, our users in iSpring Learn, you can schedule a webinar uh, or an online meeting with them right there. And also iSpring Learn, our learning management system, has the calendar feature that uh, all the users have. So they just go to their calendar and see all the upcoming webinars and meetings that they are invited to. So uh, you can use iSpring Learn when you schedule online meetings so you don't even have to use Outlook because not everyone has access to Outlook from home but everyone has access to iSpring Learn from home so maybe that can work for you. Mm -hmm. Right and I think this is some step that can be integrated so this is how distance training can be integrated with uh, remote work. And some of the people mentioned in the chat that they have been using Skype to schedule online meetings and taken into account that right now Zoom, as you said, Stefan, is offering 40 minute free sessions to everyone, all corporate organizations, and can be easily integrated with iSpring Learn LMS. This is uh, a starting point for you guys to work while we are all being at home. All right, so let's move on to the next question. Stefan, Vanda is asking, is iSpring Learn always with iSpring Suite or is this a new offer? Um, so just one more time, iSpring Suite is the authoring tool. This is where you create your courses. Uh, it is an add-in for PowerPoint, so you install it on your computer. So you, as an instructor, install it on your computer, you create trainings there, you have your PowerPoint presentations, you include quizzes, dialogue simulations, voiceovers, video narrations, and, and whatnot. And iSpring Learn is where you host your courses that you created in iSpring Suite, where you assign these courses, where you track the progress of the users. These tools can be used separately. So you can tra create trainings in iSpring Suite for other learning management systems. It doesn't have to be iSpring Learn, although they have a really deep integration uh, with each other. And you can also 
upload courses created in other authoring tools to iSpring Learn LMS. It doesn't have to be iSpring Suite. What I was uh, saying about previously is that when you subscribe to iSpring Learn, you also get a subscription to iSpring Suite for one or more authors, for one or more content creators. So you don't have to buy the subscription to iSpring Suite separately. It is already included in the subscription to iSpring Learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alina? Yeah, thanks a lot. And um, the next question is actually following up with the previous one about the Zoom and integration. It's from mm -hmm. Mohammed. So mm -hmm. if iSpring Learn <clears throat> sorry, can be integrated with Zoom, can we buy both together at the same time or we have to subscribe for each one separately and then do um, the integration later? Normally, you would uh, have to purchase this subscription separately. But as we told you, Zoom is running free plans right now. So you don't have to uh, purchase the subscription. You just need to sign up for it. And as Polina said, they have um, some limitations, but it is good for starters. So you would need to purchase the subscription to Iceberg Learn and just sign up for Zoom at the moment because they are running a promotion right now. And yeah, but um, then you will have to integrate these yourself, but it's really easy. It's basically just three clicks. Mm -hmm. Mohammed, I hope that answers your questions. Paulina, I see a nice little question that I want to elaborate on. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you mind? Please. So no. Raul, Raul is asking us uh, about the minimum internet speed to work from home. Uh, here's the thing. That's, that's a really good question. So you, you don't have to have um, a really good internet connection because Iceman Learn LMS it has an app for iOS and Android. And there in the app, you can download courses for offline viewing. And with that feature, when you know that you're gonna have a really slow internet connection or no internet at all, you can still view or your users can still view their trainings on their mobile phone and do the quizzes and do all that. And then, when they have their internet connection back, all their results are going to be sent to our servers and then you'll see their results. So even if you are worried about uh, the internet speed, you can use this feature, the offline course view in the app, Android and iOS. Lena? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. And Raul, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, he says, fine. <laughs> okay. Good, good. All right. So I also see another question from Mohammed, and hopefully Stephanie can help here. Is iSpring mm -hmm. Learn can be used during online schooling as well? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I don't see any anything that can prevent that. Actually, we have quite a few customers that um, doing it. Thank you. And Nancy um says i'd love to see a simple course created with iSpring free so in this case i would recommend everyone to watch the webinar that i sh shared the link to with you in the chat how to launch e-learning with zero budget in this webinar we actually create a course in iSpring free and then upload it to modal lms so this is the complete process step by step and hopefully it will show you um i mean sorry be a demonstration for you in order of what iSpring Free is capable of and what you can start creating with it right now. Ron is saying, having an old fashioned speaker phone with a mute button on a landline so that you don't drain your cell phone battery and so you can be hands-free <laughs> to operate computers is in my opinion, an essential remote work tool. <laughs> That's very clever, Ron. Thank you very much for sharing that with us and happy to hear that it works for you. I mean, any secret tools or ingredients that have been working for you shared with us today should definitely um, be of help. Does iSpring Learn, question from Jennifer, does iSpring Learn have a notification blast feature, text or email to send out a mass notification to all users? 
Actually, you can do that. I think you can do that with the app. You can send a message to everyone. So if your users are included into one department, you can just send a message to everyone in this department and they get a notification on their mobile phone uh, that there is a new message for them. So you can do that. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Stefan. And Olivier is asking, um, can you use and create courses with your smartphone with iSpring Learn? Not create, not at the moment. So you can only share your courses and uh, view your courses on mobile phones. But hopefully in the future. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> right now we do have a long read feature in iSpring Learn that already allows yeah. us to create, I mean, turn some content that you have, say in uh, like Word documents or PDFs into actually great looking pieces of content that uh, can be as well enhanced with uh, quizzes. So I think that's a great start. And you guys will definitely found out among first if iSpring has an online tool and maybe is able to create content on your mobile phones. Um, so Tammy is saying, I thought there was a limit to sending out messages, though. I can't send a message to all users in my account at once. Um, let me check that. Uh, I'll get back to you right after the webinar with the answer for that question, okay? Mm -hmm. So Tammy is saying uh, internet speed helps. However, right now it doesn't matter how good your internet is. With all the people home, our internet connection is still super slow. It does cause upload speed to take more time, but you're working from home, so you can just get some coffee or play with your dog while waiting. <laughs> Great advice, Tammy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, stay positive. And you guys know that if you have any questions, please um, reach out to us. I apologize if we missed any questions today, but there were a lot of them. And if we did, we will definitely get back to you after the webinar. And at this point, I think we are ready to wrap up our today's session. I would like to thank all of you for coming today. Hopefully it was some good information shared. And of course, thanks to you, Stefan, for tuning in today and covering this topic for our attendees. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching us. All right. Um, yeah, hope that everyone has a wonderful day. Keep safe, guys, and we will see you at the next webinar. Bye, Stefan. Bye, everybody. Bye.